Welcome back. Uh, today is the 5th of December and as you can tell by the title I will be unboxing my 5th quarterly books. I signed up for this almost immediately last year when Book Riot launched it because if there's anything I like better than books it's getting books as surprises. Um, and other bookish things and I have loved every box they have sent so this is box number five starting our second year of boxes and I'm going to open it and see what's in. I have totally ignored everybody else's unboxing videos so I wanted to be surprised. <laughs> All right, so this is B. Carol 5, and this is thinking about the experiences that defined our year in reading, and the books will tell you stories you have never heard before. So the first thing in the box is Mr. Fox by Helen Oyayemi. I have not read this I have not read this author yet she has been coming up on so many lists um, with just great retellings this is a retelling of Bluebeard but it says it's like calling Frankenstein's monster a ragdoll so she uses the folktale as a starting point um, and then kind of goes from there so definitely this will be going on my reading list because um, I've also been trying to read more diversely, and Helen Miami is definitely a person of color, and she apparently writes amazingly. Um, what else? There is... Oh my god. Really? <gasps> I was totally going to buy this, because Marvel and DC graphic novels are buy two get one free at Barnes & Noble, um, and this was totally on my list of things to buy, and I... Oh, I, if you have not read any comics, I highly suggest you read Ms. Marvel. She, it, it, it's written by G. Willow Wilson, whose book Alien the Unseen is also on my TV read list, which I'm like kicking myself now for never read, having read. And, oh, has a little note inside from G. Willow Wilson. Oh. Um, if you have not read Ms. Marvel, this is about a Pakistani American girl. She's first generation who loves superheroes and she writes fan fiction and stuff and one night um she develops superpowers she can kind of make herself bigger or smaller and the first night she changes actually into carol danvers who's blonde and blue-eyed um and she doesn't really it doesn't go so well she doesn't really like it but then her regular powers kick in and she looks like herself but she can make herself bigger and smaller and she goes to rescue some teenagers um and this is kind of so she rescues some teenagers and we find out there's a big bad um the next run of this um like the next six she meets wolverine and it is so amazing i cannot even tell you oh my god i love this i love it i love it i love it um okay All right, there's shakespeare candy from archie mcphee this is interesting i'm not much of a candy person but apparently these are like these appear to be lemon drops of some sort. This is kind of adorable. And it comes in a cute little box. So, I mean, even if you're done with the candies, you can keep the box. This is kind of cute. Um, oh, I didn't even look. Is there... Is there not by Helen O'Neill in there? Oh, it's a special print of a new essay by Riverhead just for readers. Ooh, okay. So... <laughs> This was in the bottom underneath the Ms. Marvel trade, so it did not think... Isn't that beautiful? It says, your first task shall be to teach philosophy to my aunts when anti-heroines steal the show. And it's gorgeous. It's printed on heavy stock paper, and it has this beautiful printed um, serpents and flowers. Oh, something, something else to frame and keep, you guys. This, this is amazing. I have to keep that flask. We'll put it on top of Broken Monsters there. It's a hat! <laughs> I'm a knitter. Um, and so a book's stocking cap. 
uh, is just the thing, especially since I need to wash my regular hat that I normally wear because it's white and it's starting to show some wintry things. Um, okay, so what else is in here? There are, oh cute, uh, lithographs, temporary literary tattoos. Um, these are, these are kind of funny. Uh, um, these will be cool. I don't do a lot of temporary tattoos, mostly because I'm allergic to like 80% of everything and I get the itchies. Um, but I might try one um, just to see if it works. My nieces, on the other hand, I think would probably be so over the moon. So I might share this with my, with my eight-year-old nieces. They might kind of love that. So it looks like I didn't get um, any of the bonus books, which um, they said less than few at 5%, and I, I got one last time. So um, one of them would have been Lois Lane Fallout by Gwenda, Blonde, Gwenda Bond. Um, and then the other one would have been Love and Profanity, a collection of true, tortured, wild, hilarious, concise, and intense tales of teenage love by, edited by Nick Healy. And that kind of has an amazing um, title. I'll check that one out. Um, and then I did not get this in my box, but I did get the coupon. Um, and that is for a Bookside Vintage iPhone charger from Rich Neely Designs, which is basically like a book and they put the wiring through. And then you stand your iPhone up on it, and it charges your iPhone, which is kind of cute and amazing. Um, I don't know how much these are normally. Um, I think that I want to say they're like 120 but the coupon is 20% off, so maybe. I don't know. I like pretty things, so we'll see. But so that, um, that is my... Book Riot, um, fifth quarterly box. I loved it, um, especially Ms. Marvel, which you can kind of tell. I just basically almost drooled over it. I, I don't know, might go curl up with that Ms. Marvel right now with my hat and my drink because I have finished working at the store. And let me tell you how full the receiving room is. So I will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Let me tell you, FedEx, FedEx specifically, FedEx is supposed to deliver this thing. This box started in Milwaukee, went from Milwaukee to Kansas City, spent a day in Kansas City before trundling its little way slowly up to Eastern Iowa. It went past my house. On the other hand, my Barnes & Noble package was put in the post on Wednesday and in Kentucky, so farther away from my house and arrived today exactly when it said on time. So FedEx, get your shiz together and rant. And if anybody is interested in this Barnes & Noble package are my two discs from the Criterion Blu-ray sale that just ended. It happened one night and La Dolce Vita, both amazing, 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 amazing films. And then I also bought Idina Menzel's Christmas CD which has the most backhanded review on allmusic.com where it basically complains about how there are no there's no innovative arrangements or innovative songs on this city but it is sparkling and clean and new and nice because it's so predictable.